So I finished uh, putting epoxy resin, a couple coats of epoxy resin on the interior of the hull and uh, I think it came out pretty good. Um, I'm figuring out the decking now and I think what I'm going to do is it, do it in a couple sections. Uh, so I'm going to have a main section of five feet wide coming down the the whole length of the boat uh, with possible wings at the back and then what I will do is uh, flip it over glass it on the other side um, put the support um, rails that I have if you want to call it that stringers or whatever four of them they're uh, going to be basically two inch by four inch uh, full length out of uh, ash and uh, that'll be a stiffener um, and then I will join little wings on the sides of these uh, after to join to the other side of the hull but leave an opening for uh, hatches anyways that's the plan for now that might change as I start going along as uh, everything seems to change as I get uh, going along and then find a different idea. Anyways, that's the plan for now. Well, I finished putting uh, six ounces of uh, glass on the bottom of the deck. I have the deck flipped over here and I also have the uh, four 2x4 two ash stringers um, epoxied on and screwed on temporarily. I'll take the screws out later. Uh, so the next thing I'll have to do is uh, put a few coats of epoxy on here, do some fairing all along the edges and before I flip this back over, I'm going to paint most of it because being underneath the deck painting, I know I'll be getting paint in the face and uh, I don't think that'd be very pleasant. So anyways, it's coming along good. So the bottom of the deck has been fiberglassed and stiffeners added, epoxied in place. The stiffeners are uh, made out of ash. So they're 13 feet long and basically a 2 by 4 configuration. I had laminated them together, uh, heavy and strong. Um, I'm now going to start painting the bottom um, for about 80% of it. Uh, I'm going to leave um, unpainted you know, edges that are going to have to be epoxied to the pontoons uh, later. So that's the progress today. Well, I have the deck flipped upside right using I use these uh, pulley systems and leveraged it around and uh, took me a while, but um, got it turned over. Uh, in the process, I've knocked the uh, hulls all out of kilter, so I'm going to have to realign things um, before I epoxy things down. Uh, also, I have it marked out on the deck where I have in six locations, I have to route her down and insert um, extensions for the deck to, to uh, go across. In certain locations so I will uh, get those ready as well and uh, uh, I'm going to use um, just a router bit to a spade bit to uh, or dado bit I should say I'm going to use a dado bit to go halfway down and make this a lap joint it'd be a lot easier than uh, than doing anything else
So I have the uh, deck extensions or deck wings, whatever, whatever uh, you want to call them, uh, epoxied in place. And in between uh, will be storage areas. So uh, that is how I've uh, laid out this, this deck. Um, lots of storage areas uh, on that side. Uh, the uh, head will be installed in the, in, uh, the middle bay. So anyways, um, that is the layout. It's one level. So there's, uh, on the original design, uh, right at the holes, there is a step up uh, section and uh, I designed that out. Um, I think originally it was there for uh, the sailing uh, catamarans. So I finished fiberglassing the top of the deck. Um, tomorrow I'll do a fill coat and that should do it. got the f cupboard frame at the bow uh, epoxied in place it's made of cherry and also the front bow support stringer so uh, the plywood will uh, attach to there the sweeping bow and uh, that's what I'll be working on next I have uh, the cross beam in place and epoxied and all this this is all cherry that I use I have it all doubled up um, to help act as a uh, stiffener horizontal stiffener So I have the uh, first door skin. I'm using door skin material. Uh, I have that mounted on the bow and it seems to have gone uh, quite nicely. I now have to go in and take all the screws out. Now this is this door skin is three mils thick. Uh, very thin, very easy to put on. Uh, I have a, a second layer and I'll be mounting that on, laminating that to this first layer. That's what I'll be doing this morning. Uh, and then after that, I will be glassing it. So uh, it should be pretty, pretty durable. So here's a little update on the progress of my catamaran. And you can see the uh, deck is now on. I still have some trim pieces to put along the side. These, these openings here uh, will be for storage. Lots of storage. Of course, this one here will be for the head. And moving up to the front, this is the uh, bow section. So you can see it's all curved in and this will be all storage in here. This will be like a set of cupboards. And of course looking from the pilot's point of view right here that's the way it's going to look. I'll throw a couple of snaps in here as well from the front. 
So I'm going to today. I'm going to be doing some epoxying, final coat on the uh, inside of the bow, as well as a, a, another support piece. Then tomorrow I'll be uh, glassing the front of the bow. Uh, well, or Sunday. So for the corner walls, I've. Uh, laminated together wood strips. <clears throat> I used basswood for this to make it like a nice white color and uh, this will give me curved uh, sides at all the four corners so I've um, got this laminated up now. The next step will be to sand it and uh, then fill in all the cracks with epoxy resin filler, glass it, flip it over, sand the other side, and uh, I'll just probably epoxy the other side. I won't put glass on the other side. So one good reason for making both hulls together at the same time is to avoid any little issues. And I, uh, because I made these separately I did have a mistake and uh, what happened was one of my bulkheads um, uh, must have shifted somehow during construction and I ended up making one of the pontoon boats uh, three quarters of an inch shorter than the other one and the issue seemed to have uh, occurred in the back third. Uh, everything else seems to be <clears throat> fine for uh, the majority of the the pontoons. They're identical uh, where the back part of it, of the one, um, is off. So I need to just build a little uh, false, uh stern here uh, to uh, thicken up the back end and uh, make it look um, compatible with the other uh, pontoon. I should say hull. So I now have uh, the two front corners installed and I just have to remove the uh, clamps from this one but uh, they came up pretty good so it's got uh, six ounces of glass over the wood strips and I need still need to install the two at the back which I can't do yet until I build uh, some more of the framing at the back So I have a pile of these old red cedar uh, stairs that's, that came off uh, my old deck. Um, these are from a deck built in 1971 and I've been ripping them up into strips. Some of them um, uh, are pretty shabby in that but what I have over here is a huge pile of Western red cedar, well dried out, and I'm going to put a beading cove on them, and that's what I'm going to be using for uh, stripping on my deck, as well as along the sides. Now I don't need really long strips along the sides. I only have to go from junction to junction where I have the uprights, because on the outside um, I'll have a piece of uh, cherry stripping going up. So it will divide this up into like sections and uh, so I could use the upright strip of cherry to hide the joint. So anyways, I uh, want to make use of that. Um, the rest is up in my wood rack there. You can see all the cedar boards that I have left. Some of them, some of them are in the back. But uh, again, these were all out of my old deck. And uh, from that, uh, so far, two kayaks and a canoe have been built. 
and I still had a uh, lot left over. So I'm now starting to work on the deck at the front and you can see I've got uh, the one horizontal panel there. Uh, the strips are glued together. I still have to sand it and epoxy it and glass it, etc. So it's just there temporarily. Um, meanwhile, I'm working on the support mechanism for the, uh, the deck and I wanted to have a bit of an arch to it and this is basically you know figuring it out as I go um, so I finally have the one arch on uh, both starboard and port side completed I still have to epoxy them and mount them in place once that is done I will uh, run some strips across for supporting the uh, the main deck strips. So I'll uh, work on that next. So I got the rough honing done on the deck and the sides. Still more to do. I've got to fill a lot of little cracks in and then uh, go over it again. And then I have to do the inlay for the maple leaf. And then glass it, sand it, and varnish it. So I've drawn a maple leaf onto the deck and I've traced around with the router uh, set to about an eighth of an inch deep. Uh, so I've gone around once and I'll gradually go around again and widen that out and then I'm going to have to uh, hollow out the center. I might switch over to a larger bit when I do that. And then I'll be inlaying uh, basswood, a nice white color, and uh, that'll give us a good contrast, uh, basswood against the red cedar. So I'm doing an inlay maple leaf. Uh, I do that on all my boats. So I had to router uh, down about uh, an eighth of an inch and um, my basswood strips go in individually I just scribe them into place uh, when everything is done I will have to sand that fill the edges and glass it. Mm -hmm. 